Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at the trailer for Boggy 2, starring Tiger Shroff and Disha Patani. It's produced by Sajid Nadiadwala and directed by Ahmed Khan. This comes out on March 30th, 2018, so mark your calendars. It's coming out pretty soon. Here we go. Hello. So he got married. I need your help. Please, Rani. Shia could never make me Oh, his hair's different. I know! Wakela, he fought Still looks good, though. I'm not going to jam this torture. You're going to get a torture. Vomit a warm up. दो महीने पहले आपकी स्कूल की बच्ची किडनैप हुई थी ये बच्ची हमारे स्कूल में है ही नहीं इस बच्ची को ढूंढ रहा हूं तू जानता है इसके बारे में वो गावत सुनी है एक सड़ा हुआ आम पूरी बेटी को बर्बाद कर देता है Yes. This is what I was waiting for! Oh, he's got some hit men in wow. there. Wow! Nice. nice. Oh, Jesus. I've never seen that before. Damn. The wire work through the water like that. That was pretty cool. A lot of running in this. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> That's really dangerous. Wow. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Yucky duck. That's cool. I was waiting for that at the end. I was like, okay, okay. Getting a lot of story, getting story, all right. Yeah. So he's saving the day. There's a kidnapped girl at stake. There's also a pretty woman who's like, please, Tiger Shroff, please, please help me. I've lost my child. And he's like, I got you, boo. Right. And then he goes and sit and like is on his way and it's all very, you know, this is the setup, this is the setup, and then the music comes in and I'm like, yes, this is what I have been waiting for. Right. I just want to see Tiger Shroff take some names and kick some butt. It feels closer to John Abraham and Akshay Kumar action films in so far as like there's the guns and the explosions mm. and the helicopters, the whole army related thing. That feels a lot more in line with something you'd see Akshay Kumar or John Abraham doing, in my opinion. Not that I've watched a plethora of all of their films, just from all the trailers that I've watched so far. This is the first I've seen where Tiger Shroff is this kind of military gun using guy. He's got the haircut and everything, so he looks a lot more like a soldier, more yeah. than he ever Ever has before. Before he had the kind of long hair, the pretty boy look, and he's nice. got he's kind of dropped that in favor of this kind of hardened look. And so still nice. Th both are interesting. Both uh, both are valid ways to go. I thought that the long hair look kind of separated him from the others. I can see why he went this direction. He probably got tired of doing the pretty boy look, or they just wanted to take this in a new direction and try it out and see what happens. You know, you can always go back to that. It just takes a while to grow your hair out again. Yeah, maybe he it was a character choice. Maybe it was a character choice. This feels very different from the first one because there's a lot more kind of rage and anger embedded mm. in this trailer. Whereas the other Tiger Shroff stuff I've seen 
It was more kind of lighthearted or easygoing and chill, even while he's kicking ass. There's not a lot of emotionally charged stuff in there. It's just kind of calm and cool the whole time. Almost like Donnie Yen, where when you see Donnie Yen fighting, he's generally pretty chill when he's fighting. I would say Tiger Shroff is even more chill to the point that you almost don't register anything emotionally other than like a smile. He's that kind of cool. Right. Whereas here he's angry and he's like really angry. And the reason why I connected it to John Abraham is because of Rocky Handsome. There's a kid involved and he's trying to get this, I mean, his relationship to the child is way different here because I don't think he actually knows the kid. Whereas in Rocky Handsome, there was this buildup with the child. It's still interesting, this, this new direction it's going while maintaining some legacy from the first one, like the kick to the shins. That was like, <laughs> last time we did one, now we did four. Just upping the ante. There were some cool stunts in there. Him jumping and doing that kind of scissor kick to the um, guy on the motorcycle. Uh -huh. There were some interesting stunts in there, uh, not just by Tiger Shroff, but by the stunt guys who were getting kicked and thrown around. There was one shot in particular where he kicked someone and they launched into like a, a river or a lake. The way you do something like that is with wire work. They're on a harness and they're being pulled. Like someone can't just run and throw themselves like that with that kind of, you know, it's, it's, it looks like a very particular way, so there was definitely wire work, and it looked cool. I've never seen that done with water before. I know that seems like a minute thing to kind of pick up on, but to me that's interesting because I've never seen it. Tiger Shroff, as always, is demonstrating his very beautiful form. He's got just solid foundation in his stances, in his kicks. He's got a nice, you know, split stretch. I like his ability to demonstrate martial arts on film the way he does. I like that he's trying to do something different here, unlike his previous characters, or his previous films, because the most outlandish thing I saw him do with some kind of superhero film. I really want to watch still, but a lot of people said it was bad. Oh. Uh, he, he had like a, a costume and everything. He was yeah, like yeah. he was like the worst kind of superhero. Like he would try to save people and he'd crash into cars. It was almost like Hitchcock or something like that. Uh, I forget the name of the movie oh, you right mean now. Hancock. Uh, Hancock, yeah, sorry, yeah. Hancock. I, I forget the name of the film right now and I'm sure a lot of people are kind of shouting it in the comments. That was a fun uh, trailer reaction that I did back in 2016. I haven't watched the first Boggy yet, but I did see some of the fight scenes from it and that's pretty much what you're going to watch the movie for, right? Mm -hmm. I still would like to watch it, especially before watching this one. I don't know what was said in the, tra in the trailer because there were no subtitles, but the story seems pretty clear. I mean, there's a girl and there's a kid at stake. The little blurb at the bottom here on YouTube says that she's an ex-lover. She's married someone else and now her kid has been kidnapped. The obvious name I forgot to mention that this kind of reminds me of is Salman Khan. What, what did we just watch? Ek the Tiger? Not Ek the Tiger, well that and- That and the Tigers and Die. Tigers and Die. Like this has kind of remnants of that in there. What about at the end? Do you think that maybe they were doing a homage uh, to Rambo with the look and the helicopter and the bandana. Both, it's Rambo and it's Jackie Chan. Like him jumping towards the helicopter like uh -huh. that is directly lifted from Jackie Chan's first strike. That's the name in the States. Overseas or in like Asia, it was called Police Story 4. Oh. And so there's a whole scene where Jackie Chan's on a snowboard and then he goes right towards the helicopter. It's a very dangerous stunt because you know, you, you connect with those blades, it's over. <sighs> You know, I didn't even think of that. Tiger Shroff is, he seems like one to do his own stunts. As far as I know, he does his own stunts. Oh yeah? Uh, I, I don't know that for certain. I'm sure you guys will be happy to tell us in the comments below. But that punch thing he was doing was a direct homage to Ip Man. Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen. Yeah, that's a, a trope of his, the, the million punch thing. Oh. I could just watch him kick and flip and do all the stuff yeah. all day. Like, it's just so beautiful, he's right. so skilled. He's definitely like the Indian Ong Bak in many ways. Um, him and one other guy. Vijit Jamwal? Vijit Jamwal, yeah. Yeah. The two of them. Although Vijit Jamwal is like more he's, yeah. massive. Whereas Tiger Shroff is like he's leaner, more lean. Yeah. He's more lean like Ong Bak or any of the other Southeast Asian, you know, superstars, Iko Uwais or whoever. Although Tiger Shroff's body, like he's way more built than Iko Uwais. He exemplifies the same type of skill. Nice body, good job. This also kind of reminds me of Super Cop, the, the Jackie Chan film with Police Story 3 because of the setting, like the, this kind of jungle setting with the huts and the military and whatnot. It's straight out of Super Cop, the, the action sequences. If you guys haven't seen Super Cop, you should check it out, it's a fun film. So I'm looking at the director's credits right now, just out of curiosity. He did a movie called Lakir, Forbidden Lines, back in 2004, full and final, Super Girl from China, which is a video short, and Boggy 2. After Boggy 2 is a movie called Hira Fairy 3. So he hasn't done that many films, but he's choreographed a bunch of movies, a bunch of, I guess, fight scenes and or sequences from films. He's got 95 choreography credits on IMDb, which is insane. That's considerable. I don't know if he's a dance choreographer or fight choreographer. There are some dance related credits in here, but he has extensive film work outside of directing. I guess this is like a big step up for him, mm. you know. Kind of like John Wick. 
Yes, exactly like John Wick. Because it's one of those things where I'm sure as a choreographer, he has seen it a certain way for many years, and directors have decided to go this other direction, mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, if you guys would just listen to me. And he watches the movie afterwards, and he's like, yeah, that doesn't accentuate the, the choreography I've made up. If only I was directing. And now he is. So you've got a guy who understands multiple facets of action and movement directing this film. Hopefully he understands emotional content right, by character yeah. just as strongly, uh, just as well, because then he's like an all around package firing on all cylinders. I have hopes for this director. I, I hope that Boggy 2 is actually a very, very good film because then he'll continue to do more, you know, yeah. really, really good films because he because he's so knowledgeable in different areas. It's, it's best, I think, I think it's always great when you have a director like that. Like Nolan, for instance, has a good understanding of visual effects. David Fincher, I think, is another good example who understands visual effects really well. Because they have that understanding, they're a double threat. And so that's what I, I'm hoping this guy is. He's like a good double threat. From the trailer, it looks like he is. It looks like he really knows his stuff. It looks like he <laughs> understands where to put a camera. And it looks like he knows how to draw that kind of emotion out of Tiger Shroff, who has previously, formerly, never shown that before. At least as far as I can tell from his filmography. Flying Jot is the name of the superhero movie that he did. I remember in that trailer, they showed you the whole movie. <laughs> you didn't really need to watch the movie if you didn't, you know, if you were there for the story, but I still want to watch it because it looked like fun.